I was 12 years old when I first started running. I was running because I wanted to get better at soccer. So that was a way of getting my endurance up at the time. When I first started winning, it became more exciting that instead of just doing it for training, I was doing it because I liked, you know, I like to win. Being there and hearing the national anthem for the first time, and especially seeing all the other Cape Verde teams, for example, the volleyball team came down, the basketball team, the taekwondo team, just seeing everybody just unite and really, you know, you know, really kind of, it really motivates you while you're there. Ruben Sansa runs on the streets of Lowell. There's a morning workout and an evening workout, and he runs up and down Christian Hill. That's the highest point in the city. And he does this day after day, 120 to 140 miles a week. Sometimes he runs in the state forest. A native of Cape Verde, he has dual citizenship. A 2009 graduate of UMass Lowell, his name is still in the record book under 5,000 meters. He works for the university in the Student Affairs Business Office, a barely noticed young man and running midst traffic in the city, and he runs on the big stage as well. The London 2012 Olympics, a gold medal at the Lusophonia Games just a couple of weeks back in India. He is the Cape Verde national record holder at a variety of distances. He has big dreams, and he has a terrific work ethic. You know, I'm not just doing it for myself at this point. I'm doing it for my country. I'm doing it for the other kids who are looking up to me. You know, it's, it's good to have... Right now, we don't have a lot of very fast runners in Cape Verde, but the only way we're gonna get, for example, 50 Rubens is to have Ruben motivate them, and that's what we want. He's focused. He's always focused on what he's doing. Um, he's always really, really intense with everything that's going on, and, and pays attention to all the little things. Even as a, as a college athlete, as a freshman, you know, if, if you told him to stretch for 15 minutes, you better bet he didn't stretch for 14 minutes and 59 seconds. He stretched for 15 minutes. And that's how he is in, in all parts of his life, and especially, um, you know, with his running. I had to work harder to get to, to where I was because I don't think I have a lot of the natural talent. My talent is that I'm able to work hard. What motivates me to work hard is just the way I've been, you know, brought up by my parents is you may not, you may not have everything, but... There's one thing that you can do is work hard for it. And if, if you don't have talent, it, it's kind of like the UMass Lowell motto too, is that you don't, you don't have to be talented. You just have to work smart and hard. I think it's focus. You know, it's a tough thing as a college athlete and it's even tougher when you're working, you know, 40 hours a week and you're trying to be a full-time athlete and have a full-time job. And he definitely has it. And I think that really sets him apart from most other people.